Hello everyone, welcome to Nails of Interest. I hope everybody's doing great out there. Or as good as you can be. I had a lot of requests for how I do my gel overlays and how I infill them because I never take my gel off. I may once in a while, you know, if I've got product stuck in there, you know, gel polish got stuck in there, a glitter piece, I will take it down and then I'll put it back on. But I really don't take it off. But before I begin, my nails, my hands are washed. My nails and hands are all sprayed with 99% alcohol just to keep down the germ factor and the oils before I ever begin. And then the first thing that I like to do is shorten my nails. You can do it with a hand file, but I like my e-file the best. It's just so much quicker. I use this, this carbide bit. That This one particular one is a two-way and it is, it's really got teeth to it. It takes anything off. You don't need to get into a lot of sanding bands. Sanding bands to me, they just leave more grit to play with. That's just my thing that I've learned. What I did was, I first went through and took off a layer of how long I wanted to take it off. And I went through and used the angle of my bit just to take off the apex that grew out to here. You know, it got thick. So I used the angle of the bit just to grind it off. And I rechecked it and if there's anything still sticking up I just go ahead and take a hand file file it when you get it all filed off clean off the dusties again with your alcohol and then start checking see if you have any lifts if there's like a white pocket here or if, like this is my natural nail right here this is how much I let it grow out trying to get pictures of it, it it's really hard to see because I don't have a whole lot on what you're trying to achieve is right here you don't want any spots sticking up you don't want a lot of bump there's just a slight bump that this little tool can but it slides over but that's what you're trying to achieve at your cuticle line is where it's really smooth and you can hardly tell and at the end you want to have most of your product right here and then wherever when you touch your nail it turns white that's where you need a little bit extra at and currently I already have that so it, since it's not that long of a refill, so I don't need to completely rebalance it. I'm just going to fill this part in and I may mess up. I may have to put extra directions on the screen. I may even have to put it down below. I always forget things when I'm trying to film it. I'm not an expert by any means. So after you file it, get out that alcohol again. And since I just touched it, I believe strongly in keeping everything sanitary. You don't want anything stuck under there. Most hard gels are not soak off, but they can soak off. There's ones that have labeled that are soak off. I have three that are soak offable. Well, four that are soak offable. One's a color. The color one was really hard, but I've seen the new ones. You can already see the alcohol is starting to dehydrate a little bit. And if there's anything sticking up here, any any lifting you need to go ahead and file around their lifting and if there's anything sticking up here you'd want to file that down too but I'm doing good there so right now I'm gonna just file right on the natural nail but first the, the other day I already went through and scraped off all the dead skin and look sometimes there's still a little bit more you'll be surprised anything white like that will cause lifting so you need it's just don't dig into your nail plate, just, just tease the little skins off. I think it's been two days now since I did that. I actually like to wipe it off with alcohol so I can see what I'm doing. And then right before you go to do your extension or your overlay, just push the cuticle back. Don't, don't make it hurt. This just makes it last longer so that you don't see the exposure as much. I push it all back. You need to clean all these afterwards. And I like to clean it off so I can see what I'm doing again. Then I take a, a good file. These files, I swear, they've never cut me on the edge. I really, really like these. And I will be purchasing them again. What I do is just, it's really hard. I like to do it like right next to my body, but y'all don't want that view. Just lightly scruff up the natural nail plate. 
I mean, don't go to town digging. Just very light pressure. Just very light pressure. I scruff it up. What I'm doing is I'm going this way, and I'm going this way or a little bit this way. I'm just trying to get two directions. That's what works best for me. And see, there is a little bit where you can see, but since it's not lifting, it's not a big problem, but I like to take it down just so that I can see that I definitely have my natural nail plate scruffed up. And keep the alcohol handy so that you can just go through and look. And if there's any shine, you need to do it again. So I got a little shine right here, which I, you shouldn't be touching it. I got a little shine right here. So I'm gonna take that off. Buff it. Just, just lightly, don't, don't dig down. That'll ruin your natural nail bed. Just a light scruff. It's just really hard for me when I'm on camera to do it. And yep, I've got no natural oils left. So then I just scruffed it up a little bit more. I had to pull it close to my body to do it. Then I take out my nail gel cleanser. I can put a link up above for those of you who haven't seen that. This dehydrates and cleanses your nail. I like to put a little bit on and just get all that dust and debris off of the nail and make sure the oils are rubbed off. Friction helps. And then I will take a little bit more. I'm usually doing this over like a waste bin and let it saturate into my nail. You don't need it on your skin. And then while I'm doing that, toss this wipe out after you get done. Since I just filed here, Take a little alcohol and just wipe down my area again so that no dust gets into my hard gel. I tend to call it hard gel. Mine is a hard gel. Or now most people are calling hard gels for non-soak off. Mine are non-soak off right now. And you can see it's getting nice and chalky white. I can really see it. You probably can't see it, but it looks like white chalk. I just rubbed it on there. That's what you want. So put your files aside. See, it's really, really chalky right here. I don't know if you can see that. I can see it. I know that's good. Figuring out which brush I want to use. This is my Alpha number four. I really like this brush for just a quick infill. I'm putting on a little stand my friend gave me. I'm getting out my acid primer. I do use acid primer. You can use non-acid, whatever works for your body. But even Selena, Selena Ryden uses acid primer. Just put a little on. What this does, you don't put it on your skin, you put it on your nail plate. It etches it just a little bit more than you can do with your file, like microscopic level is what I understand. You let that dry thoroughly. So there's a lot of waiting with this game. But you can go ahead and do all 10 nails up to this point if you want, but just don't be touching them afterwards. I do tend to do one hand at a time. Now it's all dry, so now my nail is microscopically etched. I don't want to touch it with my fingers after this even though I've alcohol put alcohol on them just in case any oils. This is my bonding agent. So I use the primer first to etch the plate. Then I use a bonder. This one has to be cured for 30 seconds. Notice this very very small brush. You're supposed to use just a little bit. When I started having lifting problems before I started adding more and more and more. I just made a mess. So just put a little on and just scrub it in to that nail plate. And you can put it over top of your previous product. That's not a problem. This is like, think of it as like a double-sided tape. It, it helps the product adhere to your nail, to your natural nail. Products gonna, gel products are gonna adhere to gel products normally. Just scrub that in. You can scrub it in if you have room if you're doing the whole nail, I'd scrub it in this way and this way and this way and this way, every which way, just scrub it in. This one could air dry, but 
if it cures, it, it has more adhesion properties. So I'm going to give this a 30 second cure. And I'm all cured up. It is super, super sticky if I were to touch it, but don't touch it. If you have brushes like this, they're collapsible. They hold on. I'm picking up a dollop of gel, trying to get it mostly on one side of my brush. That's about all that I start with when I'm doing this small of an infill. And I still put it on. This is way up too high for what I'm needing right now. I like to put it on so that it's not on my brush. It's not dripping everywhere. And you can get builder gel in thick, you can get in thin. There, there's so many versions. I like to have it pretty thin. And I just push it close to my cuticle without touching my cuticle nail, which there's no cuticle. I, I've taken the cuticle off. I've got fat finger sidewalls, whatever you want to call it. I hold it back, get right in there, and then just feather it out. If you do really good at this, feathering it out then look from the sides make sure that's filled in but you don't want it really thick or anything if you had any previous potholes like I think I got a little pothole right here you can take that time to fill it in I made like a little mohawk because my nail looks so thick without a little mohawk I just put a little mohawk on the front let it level out. If it's starting to drip in your cuticles, just turn it over. And sometimes I'll wait like this for like 30 seconds to a minute, just letting it gravity do all the work for me. I just have to hold my hand up, which I have it rested on my table. I'm just holding upside down, letting the gravity do as much of the work as possible because I hate filing. I'm not great at filing, so I want it to do as much as possible. I'm going to have to buff this out. And you pretty much can tell with your light if you're going to have to do anything. Right now, not looking too bad. For being on camera, this isn't bad. Cover up your pots, get them out of the way of your light. I got my light turned away from me. For my gel, it's 30 seconds in my lamp, so I'm going to do a 30 second cure. All my products are from the same brand. That's so why I'm not showing brands. Whatever brand you use, use the same brand. I'm here talking, so now it's dripping. It's going to drip. You can get a really thick builder gel as well, which doesn't even self-level. You just have to do it all yourself. But I prefer a self-leveling gel. I'm going to give this a 30-second cure per instructions. Before you start filing on this, make sure all your brushes are closed up. I do have a code listed down in the links down below. For Alpha Brush, you can get, I believe it's 10% off. It's from Growling Cheetah. Now it's going to be sticky and gooey. You're going to think it's not cured. It's cured, especially clear gels. They cure so fast. Get out your cleanser again. Spray. I let the cleanser do its work for just a couple seconds so I don't have to wipe like a crazy person. And then I lay my, my lint-free wipe on. And I can tell it's not sticky now, and I pull it off. And look, it's not sticky. But now since this is where I brushed it up to and I didn't really pay attention, I will need to buff this off. But everywhere seems fine, and it's really hard to tell sometimes. So what I do is get a brand new buffer. It's just a lot easier. If you're doing a whole nail, I would suggest a brand new buffer. This one's like been used just on my other four nails. And you can do it this way first if you want. If you know you don't, if you don't think you've got a lot, and I'm look, I'm holding my skin back, trying not to get it. If you made it perfect, you don't have to buff it. If you want to go right into gel polish and have a permanent gel polish application, well, semi-permanent gel polish application. You don't have to, but most of us are going to have a little lump or something. Now, sometimes after you get done, I can already see, now you can touch your nail. I can't feel it, but I can see that there's a little shiny right here. So then I'm going to just take my rougher side because the lighter side didn't get it and just lightly buff it out. 
And I'm not putting any pressure down. That's why I like the foam ones for this part because I don't put any pressure on them then. And since I use a peel off base coat, I have to buff the surface. And it gives you a nice natural look, especially if you put on a, a matte top coat, you'll have a nice natural look. Then I, I take that, I think I've got everything. I'll get out my alcohol again, just to test it out. You could do water if you wanted to, but I don't like to get any water involved until I'm done. You can get out your alcohol and you can see, like I missed a little spot right there. So let's buff again. And if you're doing this at home, you may want to wait a day till you put any color on, just so that you can touch it up as you see any little spots. I'm wiping it with the alcohol again. And I've pretty much got it. So everyone, that's how I infill my hard gel nails. I don't take them off unless I've just, I've got a lot of lifting going on, then I'll take it down, but I don't take it all the way off. I'll take it down, get the lifting out, redo it all. But that's all there is to it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like. Thank you everyone for being here with me today. I really appreciate it. Till next time, you be you and I'll be me. Bye-bye.